this is the bigger over two kilowatts unit and this is the plume the 300 watts let's unbox them and see what we have here nice pack so far this is the box we have some info here the guide in the back and more information here which is pretty cool nicely taped and covered all around and this is the guide all information here pretty thick uh, brochure nice box on top and uh, this is the cables and this is the top foam and here is the unit there you go looks pretty cool i like the silver color handles on the top which is very useful here in the front we have the wires charging this is a 300 watts plume and the reason i got this because they can charge a laptop about four times and a drone so i travel a lot and uh, this is very useful for me the guide the strap and this is it we had an insane amount of rain at the end of the summer. Power was out and so many shops were closed due to the outage. I think today businesses should get a reliable backup system. Today we're looking at the new very cool unit. This is the Agrotec Sonic 2200 watts. And what's cool about this unit, usually you pay for one kilowatt about $1,000 plus the sales that you have online. This unit is 2200 watts and it sells for 900 bucks with discount code that'll be in the description box. So this, uh, unit it is very compact for the size has this two cool handles you can carry it and the most important thing is the surge power output is 3600 watts it comes to around 45 cents per kilowatt which is the lowest price i've seen so far and the specs are pretty impressive the design is very simple and very effective to move around store it and it's not that heavy i have a couple of electric devices here i'll plug them in and we'll see how this unit performs and see if this unit actually survives and if it works and if you get some close-ups here we have a lot of uh, useful ports we have four ac outlets maximum 2200 watts we have here dc uh, cigarette lighter port we have this dc1 dc2 ports 60 watts and we have usb a type four of them and two usb c type 100 watts each now on the side we have the cooling fans and we have all the BMS and the uh, over voltage, over temperature protection. But here we have the AC charging. So this unit, like the EcoFlow, charges up to 80% in under one hour. Fully charged, it will take one hour and 40 minutes. And here we have two solar inputs up to 400 watts each and 12 amps. And I believe between 11 to 46 volts. So you can charge this unit completely from anti with two solar panels in about uh, five to six hours. And we have, let me get one of the phones, and we have this wireless charging pad, so, which is really useful. A lot of units in this capacity don't have so much surge power, so that's cool and uh, will be useful to use heavier you know, tools, which is good. And also if you use, uh, for camping, for example, if you use camera, drones, cell phones, computers, which we'll plug them in a second, also that high surge will let you plug in more maybe air fryer and stuff like that that will be great for camping so this unit has 3600 watts surge and i don't have enough tool to show 3600 watts but for a small shop for a small project you need some cordless tools some you know so corded tools uh, we have a sander we have here uh, a dewalt uh, sozo so let's just pull them all together and see how much we, we draw from this unit. We have a light, which you always need, any kind of small uh, job side, right? Shop back. And it pulls about 1800 watts. Yeah, I think it's... Uh... And it's charging batteries here. We have a belt sander. So, I mean, this is minimal stuff, but it's enough to run for an hour, a little bit over an hour. And you can plug in other stuff. Yeah, about one hour. Yeah, that's good. That's enough. So yeah. 
Here, just to do a quick test, we have a compressor, a shop vac, an electric saw, and a table saw. These tools combined should be way over 3,500 watts, but let's see at what point it's gonna trip. These are also very powerful tools, so I'm sure this is way over the limit of this unit, but still, let's see, you know, if it at least handles two of them at the same time. When we powered the last tool, the table saw, the unit shut down. Also, I'm not sure how accurate the screen is gonna be. 3500 watts, probably it's an overkill and a little bit exaggerated. But let's see what this unit can do. You can feel here when you power the saw, the compressor slows down, it's not that loud and it's kind of struggling about 22 to 2400 watts once you power the table saw, it just shuts down. So I would say maybe 2500, 2600, it's the limit. And also maybe the screen is not accurate because this tools combined should have around 3000, maybe higher than 3000 watts. But if you power this tool individually or at least two combined, this unit works perfectly. We have a bunch of electronics here and this is a cool air fryer with some food, with some pizza. So let's uh, get this one cooking. There you go. This pizza. So we'll leave it there. We're pulling 100, 1,479, so almost 1,500 watts here. And let's uh, plug in other electronics here. We have a bunch of laptops that uh, say use while you're either camping or you're in office or mobile office. So we have, what else we can plug in here? We can plug in uh, the drone. We have to charge that. Let's see if that reaches over there. Have a bunch of USB that we can connect. Pulling 500 watts, and we can put more, way more than this. Let's see what else we have here. Here we're charging the batteries, we're charging the controller. Uh, we're gonna plug in, we need the extension cord to plug in the, the charger for the e bike. That would be cool. And uh, let's power on these computers here. Right, let's see how much we're draw, drawing now from this. So, about 1585, you can do so much more. And we have a lot of stuff already. Um, we have a light here, we can put the light on, under 1600 watts, which is good, but uh, yeah, we can put an extra coffee machine, we can do so many things. Yeah, this is pretty dope. So I have two computers, we can plug in more, the drone, charging the cameras, all the stuff here, so not bad. And this will last for, for an hour. All right, let's... Let's pull this out. Yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. This is hot, I have to wait. Mmm, super good. This is a great solution, let's say if you're on a set and you have this in your backpack, you just plug in all your peripherals or your cameras, you know, gear, uh, lights and stuff and you can just charge on the go. It's super light, it's compact and you can also power at the same time your laptop. It's so easy, you just connect it to your laptop and depending how powerful it is, you can bump it up to 300 watts. So let's see if this unit is gonna power this computer. So we have here the plug All right, so now it should work. The light came on. Forty-eight, about fifty, fifty plus watts. I'm running Premiere Pro, and it's only seventy plus watts, and it doesn't have glitches. It runs smoothly. Look at that! I can just power on, and this consumes a lot of resources. Let's go in Task Manager and 
show that it's actually consuming a lot of resources. And I have also a powerful uh, system. And you can see here, 72 watts. And uh, it's able to handle that. So I think after 300 watts, you can connect more devices here, maybe even put an extension cord and maybe have even two laptops, maybe a laptop and uh, a printer, maybe a router or anything you need if you're traveling, if you wanna go, uh, this is a perfect option for that. It comes with this shoulder strap. That's very convenient, very comfortable. If you're traveling, if you're walking, and we have this leather little strap will handle that's also very helpful. Now the only thing is that I like here, you can see here, the scabiners don't have enough room here to connect, so I put on this side and this side, so it's a little bit difficult to take it out, but if you pull on the side, you can see it's not really like fought through, but it works, and uh, yeah, perfectly traveling. And you have this light here, you have to hold, and it's pretty powerful. Three brightness uh, levels, and you have extra options here. Very good in the dark. This uh, unit is very convenient, and uh, EcoFlow had similar devices, and they discontinued them. So I'm glad that this company brought this back. For travelers, this is a perfect solution. 300 watts. We can power so many devices and we can take it anywhere. Having this option, it's really handy, really helpful, and it's only 160 bucks. I think it's a great deal. And you have also 2DC ports still available. You plug in your cameras and when you travel in the train, in the bus, you can just charge and when you're out, you just point and shoot. The charger is very compact, light, 64 watts, perfect for traveling. And here is comparison next to the unit, very small, and we have 53 watts, so that'll take about five, five and a half hours to fully charge this unit. If you use solar, 100 watt panel, this will take maybe about three, three and a half, maybe four hours, depending how intense is the sun. So the main reason why I like this unit so much is because the price ratio between capacity and how much you're paying, it's really good. It is 999 with discount code, that'll be description box, will be $900. So you get 100 bucks off and this thing is 2200 watts, so 2.2 kilowatts capacity. So this battery here on this bike, so this video is coming soon. I took it off-road and we tested it. It does amazingly well. And this battery is 500 watts. So I can charge with that unit, if I put it in the car and I ride uh, to the trails, I can charge it at least three times, if not more, because you lose when you transfer a little bit of capacity. But uh, look at this battery, it fits here perfectly. 500 watts can discharge up to 80, 90 amp hours. And having that unit with you, you can charge that and just keep riding. So that's really a good option to have. And not quite 3600 watts surge advertised, but still a very capable unit. I hit 2800 watts continuously. Great for a light to medium construction application, but for camping or office needs, will handle amazingly well. Priced well, compact, good design and plenty of ports, you know, to, to charge so many portable electric devices. So the link will be down below in the description box. Check it out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.